Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and unicorns. Welcome to another glorious classic Let's Play. As you noticed, this one looks a bit different. This is because I'm recording this during daylight. So yeah, it's this strange time of day that makes your monitor real hard to see. The game we're playing today is this one here, Golf. This one was uh, one of the original uh, launch titles of the Game Boy and it's perfectly suited for the Game Boy as a, as a casual game. So if you think, oh, Golf, oh my God, my, my face just, just fell asleep just like this. Uh, it's it's actually real fun, but we will get to this. But yeah, golf can be boring to some people because in, in principle it's just going for a walk while hitting a ball. Uh, there's even this saying we have here, which is, oh, you play golf or you still have sex? Well, as a gentleman who enjoys both, I can say it works. And it also means that I'm not allowed on a golf course anymore for related reasons. So this is why we're going to play it on a Game Boy here, or in this case on an emulator. All right, this is one of the, as I said, one of the launch titles of the Game Boy and also it has a two-player function, which is great. But we're going to play here with one player, of course, because I don't have any friends. And we start a new game here. This, uh, by the way, this cartridge has a uh, save feature, which means it has a save a, a backup battery to keep your saves uh, well <laughs> safe, and yeah, after 20 or so years, well, it, it runs out. And recently, I've I've soldered a new battery onto this. This was real uh, interesting. So yeah, maybe I make a video about this: how to exchange the battery backups of your Game Boy or Super Nintendo games. This was real fun. Either way, let's start a new game. And we can select here for our stroke play, which means there's points uh, between sele uh, select between Japan or the USA. Uh, this is a difficulty setting. The courses of USA are much harder than those in Japan, so we're going to play Japan. Oh, is this adorable? They say fight, fight, fight. Of course, in golf you say fight. They come from the Game Boy Club, and yeah, it even has a Nintendo flag on top. So the first, the first course. What the hell is going on here? Well, if I press to the left or to the right, I can aim. Of course, if I press up or down, I can select different golf clubs. Um, if you don't know anything about golf, well, you'll figure it out. <laughs> um, in principle, uh, the wood ones here, the one wood, which looks like this here, is a so-called driver with me, which means it drives the ball on and on, so the ball goes furthest, and if I hit down, we're here at iron and yeah and the higher those iron number gets until we have the pitching wedge or the sand wedge uh, the ball doesn't go as far but it just goes higher up so that's golf <laughs> in a nutshell and you try to get to get the ball ones into the hole ones so it's it's a little bit like like teenage years actually either way Good. So, but but where the hell is the hole? How do we know where to aim? Well, let's hit B. And there we have the overview of the course. So all we need to know now is that this white, white blotch here is the fairway, which means it just has shorter grass and the ball tends to roll better there. And there's also this arrow here with you, the arrow pointing to the left and it says 04. This is the wind. 04 could mean, well, for knots, for miles per hour, for Nintendo units, who knows? But uh, well, the sun is getting too strong, so I probably, probably, yeah, use a visor here. And this one is says Flamingo Beach. So if any one of you sees me playing golf with the red cap, it doesn't say make America great again. Hell no. Oh good, now we have a helicopter outside. Marvelous. But let's not get distracted here. We're playing a nice game of golf. So, um, how to play golf here on the Game Boy? The controls are very, very simple. This one, I think the first time I saw this kind of, of, of uh, gauge was, or gauge, was in leaderboard on the Commodore 64. So yeah, the goal is to hit, uh, uh, of course, the marks as close as possible. Especially uh, the, the mark on the right, as you will see shortly. So I didn't make it too far here. So uh, let's aim to this direction here. Oh yeah, this is the green camera. But we will get to the green, hopefully, in a bit. 
So I use now a different club. Let's say this one here. Yeah. It's it's a matter of, of, of yeah just trying out and see how far those things <laughs> manage to whack the ball. So an iron three, and yeah, um, as you can see, I I try to the, the further uh, I make this this mark here to to the left side, the stronger my stroke will be. But if I don't manage to hit this one precisely in the middle, the ball will tend to go either direction. If it goes to, to the left, it's called a hook. If it goes to the to the right, it's a slice, provided I'm a right-hander. So yeah, it essentially doesn't doesn't go in a straight line. And this is also the, the big uh, hook here on the game, is uh, you really have to be perfect with your timing to make the ball go straight. I almost managed it. But then again, there's the wind. So you also have to take this in consideration. And if you play a ball real flat, well, it rolls for longer, so it's not too, too prone to uh, getting influenced by the wind. On the other hand, if you play it uh, high, well, of course, there's there's more wind at play. So, okay, I'm close now to the hole. I just have these, these uh, dotted things here in the middle, and those are called bunkers, bunkers. And uh, they are pits with sand, and you really want to get your, don't want to get your ball in there, because sandy balls aren't fun. Good. So I take now, let's try here with the pitching wedge. This one makes the ball go real high, but probably too far. So I tried the niner here. Oh, just got something on Twitter. That's cute. And play it like this. You see it goes real high and oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's out of bounds. Which means... We have to uh, do the stroke again, but it's still counted towards uh, this this hole. And as I as I forgot to mention, we want to hit par. Par means par four means you have uh, three uh, four strokes uh, to hit to, to cup the ball, cup the ball. And if you don't manage to do it well, you get penalty points. And if you manage to stay under par, you're uh, getting minus points, which are which are good. So essentially, you want to try to keep this one. As slow as possible, of course, and yeah, <laughs> straight into the flipping bunker. Good. Okay, so now I need to get this one here out. Um, as with sand, you really have to yeah wedge the ball up. So I take a SW. It's a sand wedge, precisely made for this reason. So just getting it on the green here. Good. We're on the green finally. The green is just even shorter uh, grass than on the fairway. It's just short, dense grass. It's like a carpet. So the ball rolls really long there. And you're not allowed to use any club other than this one here. The, the putter to put the ball in. So and those little arrows here, if, if you manage to, to make them out as such, um, they define the incline and decline and the sloping uh, here on the green. So if I just sh shoot straight, it, the ball will probably go slightly to the right because of the slope. So I will try to compensate for that and damn it. Well, we're here at what now? Eight. Okay, if I hit start now, I can see the scorecard. And yes, the hole has a power of four and I had to use eight strokes. So this is not good, but we're getting better. So you're probably uh, thinking to yourself, well, that's the game. Isn't there something more to it? Uh, no, no, pretty much that's, that is the game. The interesting part, as you've seen, is to yeah line up your shots perfectly. And as we can see in this hole here, uh, the holes get trickier. Um, for example, I could shoot straight, but here I'm really asking for trouble because if I don't hit the ball real straight on and it just flies over this little forest here, uh, it, get, it gets up, it gets caught up in, in, the, in the trees here and that's not good. I can go and shoot to the left, for, to this little patch of fairway, which is good because I don't have to worry about any other trees uh, anymore on my way to the hole. But I could also go for the safe way and, and shoot here uh, to the right and have the ball pretty much all on the fairway towards the hole. But I think I go for some risk here and just go hit straight up and see how, how we can make our ball soar over this little forest here. 
So uh, there's there's one little interesting thing. If I hit now while if I push now uh, up or down while I'm here in in the actual stroke, I can make the ball fly either more high, or but it doesn't go as far or pretty pretty low and it just rolls for longer. And here now I'm I'm hitting, I think it's down to make it go higher. So this is what I want. Ah, oh, almost got a super shot, but yeah, looking good. Wasn't too bad. It was a light draw, a slight hook, and now we're on the fairway, so it paid off. But now the wind's gotten stronger, but now I can pretty much tackle the wind right on here. And now I'm pushing up, so the ball is, is a little bit more flat when I hit it. Ah, uh, this was also a little bit hooked, but that's okay. You can see it rolls here for longer, especially here on the fairway. And I have to say, this was a pretty good shot, actually. So, okay, I really need to change my club here now. So this one's getting affected real much, pretty much by the wind. So I aim now here up to the right of the hole and I push down to make it go even higher. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Well, well, it could be worse. It's now on the downward slope there, but that's not too too bad. All right, I compensate, hopefully compensate for that. Par. Well, not too bad. If we look at our scorecard now, this hole had a par of four and I managed to do it in four. So this is good. So if you if your score is as low as possible, you're doing real good here because all those points are actually penalty points. And if you got a score of minus something, it means you're somewhere you were below par and this is really great. So this is a par three hole, which means uh, it's, it can be a little bit tricky. You want your first shot to land you on the green and those two trees here are making things a little bit harder for you. If you overshoot, you're in the bunkers or if you're, if you're just a little bit uh, too short, you end up in the watches. So you can see this game, those courses are really well designed. This is the easy uh, game, so. Good, I'm not going to use my driver wood one, I'm using a wood four, or maybe even an iron one, and just hit it, yeah, I hit it perfectly, and this was way, way too far, and it happened what I uh, said it would happen. So let's try here now the iron eight, and give it a good whack. This was probably a too good a whack, but not too, too, too good. All right. So yeah, this is par three and we're at stroke three now. So you see my pitching wedge just a little bit. Whoop. Ah, damn it. Overshot it. Ah, but now, I mean, the slope should help us. And it's a bogey. Bogey means it's one over par. It's not a booger, it's a bogey. So here, the next tricky one. Um, we have a big body of water here. We can go, uh, say, we take either the left lane or the right lane. I will uh, use uh, the left one here. But here you don't have to overshoot. You want to stay on the fairway and don't end up in the water. So I'm using a wood four and pushing down. So to make the ball go high and just bounce a little, but not roll into the water. Okay, could be better, not too shabby. So good. Okay, now I want my ball to go here. Not overshoot to go in the bunker, but also not too short that it ends up here in those trees. So yeah, I'm keeping my wood four and I'm hitting up now so that the ball goes flat. But this wasn't too good because on the rough, if you're not on the fairway, the ball doesn't go as far when you, even if, when you give it a good whack. So here now I'm, I'm hitting down again to make the ball go up. So I, this was perfect. If a shot goes real straight, it's called a pure shot. And look at this, landed perfectly on the fairway, uh, on, on the green. Beautiful, beautiful. Good. So we have a little slope here. Oh, ah, too, st ah, too strong. And now we're on the rough again, but maybe if I, I, I still use the Putter here, so par. Well, could have been a birdie, which means it's one under par. 
Another tricky hole. You see this? Uh, there, we, we notice a trend here. Those are really tricky holes. Of course, I could shoot here now and aim for this little circular patch of fairway. But I have this whole forest ahead of me. Or I could use the safe route here. And, and if I overshoot, of course, I will land in this huge bunker around the green. So, but let's try this one here. With a little bit of wind. So I'm trying now to hit down to make the ball go real. Sorry. But to make the ball go real flop up and down to really avoid the trees here. Oh, this was sorry. Whoop! Super shot. Looks perfect apart from I completely missed the mark here on the fairway. But that's good. That's good. We didn't hit a tree, which is good. So. Yeah, I'm using now in the rough an iron one. Maybe not too strong. Maybe could have been stronger. Oh well. So yeah, the fun is selecting the right club and aiming into the right direction. This was probably too. Yeah, this was this was a perfect sliced shot now. I mean perfect, I mean of course it was completely as intended. And now you're playing against the slope again. Whoop! Ah. I mean, this was pure skill, skill, skill. Good. Part three again. But strong wins here. So I might not really go. I might even try to make my shot a hook a little which means it goes to the left to compensate for the wind. And I'm also going to use a wood four and see how this goes here. Uh, looking good. Oh my God, this was almost a hole in one. I've never ever managed to make a hole in one and this was so close, so close. Let's just not mess up this one here. A birdie and my cat is clapping because he's excited for me because I made the birdie and not him what the hell was that okay now I'm playing in the oh, of course no 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 <laughs> Never mind. Frankly, I haven't been on a real golf course in what now 10 years or something. Um, I don't know why I wanted to, 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 to get the permission to play on the course because I just thought, yeah, it, it's fun whacking balls and see how far they go. And but when you're on the actual golf course, I mean, for one thing, it's not cheap. So <laughs> as a student, I didn't have really much the money and frankly I don't want to spend now a, a lot of money just to go whack a ball but yeah it was really nice it was just like going for a walk and whacking things in between uh, but if you are on a golf course um, yeah you have a certain time slot where you can play and this is usually 10 minutes because um, of course they want it's, it's, it's just like a conveyor belt right they want people constantly keep moving through the holes so you can't take too long and there's always a group of people which is called a flight it's a group that plays golf together there's always a flight in front of you so you try not to hit them and there's a flight in the back of you uh, they are waiting for you to hurry up <laughs> so they can line up their shots because I'm a bloody novice and it means uh, it takes me for ages to to even get close to the hole. Oh, we just hit the, the flag. This is good. So yeah, and the last time I played, um, there was this uh, a flight in front of us, which wasn't uh, that fast. But I mean, we weren't either because we were, we were all uh, novices. But either way, we were doing pretty good. And they were already in on the horizon playing shit. Uh, no, they were not playing shit, of course. They were playing golf, which is something entirely different. And yeah, they, uh, and there were still people there, and I thought, yeah, um, 
maybe I could hit them with a ball, but yeah, probably won't go near. And my friends at the time, uh, so when I was lining up my shot, my friends at the time were just murmuring to each other and saying, yeah, he's probably going to hit them. I, I can see him. Just, just look how, look, look at his posture. He's totally going to hit them. That shut up. Lined up my shot and it was perfect. I mean, there was no wind. There was just wind still. I really was pretty close to the green. So I used my favorite club, which was the Iron Six. So everything was just perfect. And then I sliced the shot and the ball went straight for this group of other people. And there's uh, something in golf you have to shout when other people are in danger. And this is the word for. So uh, you shout for when you think your ball is going to hit some people. So and that's what I did when I noticed my ball. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's going into this group of people. And that just hit, shouted for. And all of them would just turn around to me. There was this one lady which was the one where my ball ca came down on. She just, just turned to me and the ball went like, like this, this close, like 20, 30 centimeters, like whoosh, next to her. She didn't notice it and she just gestured to me that I was insane. So yeah, uh, she survived it. Uh, <laughs> I survived it somehow. I was like, oh my God, it was almost put a person uh, into the hospital or worse. So yeah, this was when I decided, yeah, it's it's it wasn't really worth it and now it's it's not even even worth it any longer anymore. We're at hole 15 now, it's not much longer. Um I still hope you're going to enjoy this. For example, this this one here. This is real real nasty. Everything is mortar uh except for for this out of bounds uh, range here and those trees that are just placed out of pure spite like they are so let's try this one no no ah <sighs> ob okay let's let's go this direction but the wind is really really affecting my play here i can almost feel the breeze well, I can really feel it. It's because I have the window open. Sorry. So, okay. We're on the fairway. We want our ball to go real high. So I use an iron three. Make the ball real flop. Boink. Damn it. Ugh. Sorry for my German swearing here. It's, it's not the damn it part. It's the ach part. Which sounds like a cartoon Hitler. And there we are again. YouTube video mentioning Hitler. Okay, the final hole, number 18. And what I like about this one is that, is that the green is shaped like a kitty cat. Look, those are the ears. And on her left eye, she's got a flag and she's got no right eye. Yeah, it's, it's a pure, poor kitty. Good, good, some kind of wind. I'm going to use now here my iron one. It's looking good. Looking real good. Not so good anymore, but maybe you can still have a birdie. Maybe. I don't mess things up here. Just a bit. Not too strong. Ah! <sighs> Could have been so nice. Well, wow. hole out. Well said, little chibi Mario. Well said. And this is our terrible scorecard. So uh, all the dashes are good and all the circles are good. And anything else, yeah, is terrible. So yeah, thank you, scorecard. This is how good the computer plays. Please play again. Fight, fight, fight. This is this is what we always say on the golf course. If, if you meet another golfer and they say, oh, how's your game going? We say, fight, fight, fight. And this is golf. So thank you all for watching. I'm going to retire now my golf glove here. Bye bye. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you found this to be too boring to watch, well, 
Jokes on you, because you're still watching. Thank you again. Next time we're going to look at another great classic for the Game Boy. And yeah, see you around.